blood to be literal historical events. Matthew 24, verses 37 through 39. In Luke 17, 26 through 27, Jesus treated Noah, the ark, and the flood as literal events. End of story. They were real. For Jesus, Jonah, and the great fish was no, was no uh, fairy tale. Jesus not only confirmed the historical idea of Jonah being swallowed up by a great fish in Matthew 12, 39 through 41, Jesus identified the fish to be a whale. And nobody before him had ever done that. That's, that's really significant. Not only did Jesus believe in the historical story of Jonah as a valid historical event, but he identified the fish. The, the Old Testament story of Jonah just says he was swallowed up by a big fish. It doesn't identify the fish. Could have been a shark. Could have been anything. Jesus said it was a whale. That's, that's, that's how Jesus, literal interpretation. Jesus identified Sodom and Gomorrah as a literal event. Matthew 10, 15. Jesus validated Lot and his wife as a literal couple. Historical fact, Luke 17, 28 and 29. We just go on and on with this idea. Literal interpretation of the Bible. When it is obvious, church, that the author of Scripture is speaking metaphorically or figuratively, then we will know that we're not to take it literally. For example, open your Bible to 1 Peter 5, 8. Here's what the Bible says in 1 Peter 5, 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is a roaring lion, Walk of the mouth seeking whom he may die, whom he may devour. Now all of us know that Satan is not a lion. Don't. So we know that this is a figure of speech. It's trying to show us through the proudness of a lion that Satan is stalking the earth seeking whom he may devour. Peter could have used he could have used a little pussycat. But nobody would feel challenged then. But a lion, there's something about a lion that makes you open your eyes. Ask Martin. He and I had, we encountered the lion in South Africa one day. Ask Martin about that. He was just a few feet from him. <laughs> A roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Now that is using metaphorical, figurative language to teach a real truth and emphasize how real, how potentially dangerous our adversary is. There are Americans today going to church who do not even believe there is a devil. Sad. Sad, sad. That's true. One day Jesus referred to Herod as a certain animal. Jesus calls Herod fox. a what? Fox. A fox. Does that mean that Herod was a literal fox? No. But he had the characteristics of a fox. What are the characteristics of a fox?